Hello and welcome to Avantech Software's Scan2x Tech Sessions. This is a how-to video about installing Scan2x. Now you first have to go to avantechsoftware.com, click on the Avantech Software Go to website, click on the Scan2x menu and download the tile. Here you have to scroll down and you can fill in the registration information. Once you've filled in your registration information, you can register for a 60 day trial and you will be sent an email with your license key as you have here. And then you can click here to download the file. We suggest that you save it and then you can open it. Now sometimes you will be prompted by Windows Defender to uh, acknowledge that you need to run this file since it's a new file, it hasn't seen before. Once you set run in a way, you can say next. You then can review the end user license agreement, click on I accept the terms and click on next. It then discusses the prerequisites such as SQL Server and PC prerequisites. Next. Again, you can review the folder and change it if you wish for the installation. And then you click on the install button. Now, if you press finish with the launch the program, clicked, it will launch Scan2x. When you first run Scan2x, it obviously um, needs to find the SQL database that you're going to be using. So it will act as though the connection has been lost, but in actual fact, it's going to now ask you to choose your SQL server settings. Now, depending on whether you have already installed SQL Server or not, you have two choices at this point. Uh, if you already have SQL Server installed, then you just need to verify the server name, uh, the database and username, and put in the password of the relevant SQL Server account. If you haven't installed a SQL database, um, then you would first have to install local instance of Microsoft SQL Server Express um, before you enter the relevant credentials that you need to put in. Now, if you click Save, it will tell you that it did not find the database and therefore it will create it. Obviously, if the database did exist, it would just connect to the existing database. It will then ask you to create a admin account. So you need to give it your email address and a PIN. You choose whichever PIN you like, and that will then be entered for you to log in with. It must be a four digit PIN. Once you save, it confirms the details, and you say continue, and it will verify the database schema, and get ready for you to do your first login. Now at this point, you need to enter your license key, which was what you received before in your email, which we saw right at the beginning of this video. We're going to copy this, and we can simply paste it into the dialog box and say activate. You do need to have internet connection for the activation. We we'll retrieve your license details and activate your 60-day trial. If you have a fully licensed version, you would follow exactly the same process, uh, but obviously once the license key was applied, it would no recognize that this was a fully licensed version and would not come up with the 60 days as you're seeing over here. Now, once it is loaded, you have the choice of installing a startup demo pack um, and you can also then have the running order 
how to do this and how to run it. We have a separate video on how to use the demos. So please look up those on our e-learning or YouTube channel if you'd like to use those. We can now proceed to log in for the first time. So we use admin and the pin which it asked us for during the installation. You can once again log out and that concludes this video of how to install Scan2x. Thanks for listening.